When pre-processing the data, a good habit is to examine the images before and after each step to determine whether everything ran without any errors, or if instead there was something you need to double check or redo. We will first use the buttons on the left side of the con GUI to examine the output of some pre-processing steps, and then use the QA plots button in the bottom left of the con GUI to create a comprehensive QA report. Once the pre-processing has finished, click on the structural tab again. You will notice that the anatomical image looks different. In fact, it has been skull stripped, resampled to one millimeter cubic resolution, and normalized to match the MNI template. Scroll through the different views to make sure that the brain looks as though it has been normalized appropriately. We can examine the image more in depth by using some of the viewer options. If you click on the Structural Tools menu and select Slice Viewer with MNI Boundaries, QA Norm, you will see the outlines of the MNI template traced in yellow on top of the anatomical image. Observe how the yellow lines roughly outline the boundary between the white matter and the gray matter. The normalization won't be perfect, but the general outlines should match up. Clicking on the Functional tab reveals a similar change. The functional data have now been fully pre-processed, which includes normalization and smoothing. Clicking on the Functional Tools menu and selecting the Slice Viewer with MNI Boundaries, as with the anatomical image, will show a yellow line dividing the gray and the white matter. The general outline of the MNI template should also encompass the functional image. If both the anatomical and the functional data are aligned with the MNI template, this indicates that the pre-processing was probably successful. We now come to the Regions of Interest tab, which lists the different regions that will be used in the connectivity analysis. Five sets of ROIs have already been generated for you. Gray matter, white matter, cerebral spinal fluid, atlas, and networks. Let's begin with the first three, which correspond to the tissue types that make up the brain. Clicking on any of these slices will open up a montage window that you can use to more closely examine the overlap between the gray matter mask and the gray matter of the functional image. While you're at it, look at the white matter and CSF masks as well to make sure that they seem to have been segmented appropriately. The next output is atlases, or ways to parcelate the gray matter into different nodes. By default, the gray matter is partitioned according to the Harvard-Oxford cortical atlas, and the cerebellum is partitioned according to the AAL atlas. In order to see these atlases in more detail, clicking on the parcelated 3D brain will open a viewing window illustrating how the atlas has been resampled to the functional data. For example, the parcellation colored in orange indicates the anterior cingulate. Hovering your mouse over the different colors and clicking will show which ROI you are pointing to. Later on, we will use these ROIs in our first level analysis to generate connectivity maps between those ROIs and all of the other voxels in the brain. The same idea is illustrated in the Networks tab, which assigns groups of nodes to a single network. The default mode network, for example, is a combination of a node in the posterior cingulate cortex and a node in the ventral medial prefrontal cortex. As with the cortical ROIs, you can open up a new viewer by clicking anywhere on any of the slices. If we click on, say, the blue area, this is one of the nodes of the default mode network, the posterior cingulate part of it. If we look at other slices, we can find other parts of the default mode network as well. For example, within the medial prefrontal cortex. Another output from pre-processing is 
nuisance regressors, or covariates such as motion that we want to disentangle from the signal we are interested in. Clicking on covariates first level reveals three covariates that have been generated by default. Realignment, QC time series, and scrubbing. The realignment covariate is a set of six movement parameters representing movement in the three translational and rotational directions. Hovering the mouse around the movement parameters will display a vector of six numbers representing the average motion in all six directions at that time point. The second covariate, QC time series, computes an additional measure of motion called frame-wise displacement, or FD, a type of composite measurement of all of the movement parameters. The default in CON is the FD computed by the ART toolbox. If you want to use another FD formula, click on Covariate Tools and select Compute New Derived First Level Covariates and you can select from any of these options. The last covariate, scrubbing, will display any volumes that have been modeled out of the data, or scrubbed. This subject was very still during scanning, so no volumes have been removed. Later on, we will see subjects that have had volumes removed by scrubbing. You can summarize all of the QA checks that we did above by clicking on the QA plots option in the bottom left corner of the con GUI. In the window that opens up, click Create New Report and label it whatever you want. Then click Create New Plot and select any of the QA checks that you want to include in your report. The default ones that are highlighted will display checks such as the functional and structural data on the MNI template and the motion parameters. When you have chosen all of the QA plots that you want, click Start. A series of figures will be generated, one for each QA check that you selected. You can then click on the Export button to generate an HTML file of all of your QA checks. When it is finished, you will see something like this that you can open up in your web browser and click on the links to review any of the pre-processing steps. If you are satisfied with your QA checks, you are now ready to begin denoising. This will further clean up the data using processing specific to resting state data and prepared for statistical analysis.